and what are some of the things that you know the sort of newbie CTFs should look out for when they're looking at which ETFs to invest into? Okay, well, I've actually got some slides here. Funnily enough, Daniel. Perfect. <laughs> uh, yeah. Great segue. Um, yeah. So these are some of my current tips, um, and I know it's a stock tipping group, but these are going to give you some ideas in terms of where I think it is, and they're they're high level ideas, right? And I'm, I'm giving a giving a way to do it. So let's think China, right? China at the moment is the second biggest economy in the world. And by all accounts, it could become the world's biggest economy in the world. And its economy is growing. Yes, it got hit by COVID. It's probably recovering slightly faster than some other countries around the world. Um, but its growth is continued to grow. Its growth is continued to, to carry on, right? Um, it's growing far faster than any developed country. And no one really has exposure to it. Right? No one is really going and buying Chinese shares. And if we think about who can buy Chinese shares, well, apart from Chinese um, nationals um, living within China, really China is only open to the extremely wealthy. And Van Eck in Australia went about getting our Chinese license to trade Chinese shares um, within the local Shanghai and Shenzhen exchanges. And it was an arduous process. It took us uh, nearly two years. Um, but we were probably the third uh, company in Australia to be given the access, called an RQFE, to trade in mainland China. So we uh, are buying Chinese shares. So we set up an ETF, um, which is called the China New Economy ETF, right? And, and that's really where we think all the benefits in China are coming from. And that is in four key areas, and that is in technology, right? This is in you know, technology shares within China. It's within healthcare, which is a growing area globally. And it's in consumer discretionary consumer staples. And that is consumer staples are things like supermarkets, things you have to buy, right? And consumer discretionary is in things like that you'd like to buy, like the new fashions, the new technologies and things like that. And those four areas are where we're thinking that China is really booming. And we have got an ETF which invests in those four areas. Now, I can tell you, we didn't set it up this way, but those four areas have been the key areas in COVID as well, right? In terms of areas that have done well during the COVID you know, downturn of the economy, the four that have stood out are technology, healthcare, consumer discretion, and consumer staples. So that was just a byproduct of where we thought the new economy was going to be. But look, China is something that people should think about in their portfolios because they are such a behemoth and there's no way, unless you're Chinese, that you're going to know what these Chinese companies are, right? So the ETF, which we have, has 120 constituents in it, split across those four sectors, okay? And it's something that, you know, there's no other way you can access this. And it's something that, you know, has done unbelievably well this year and has been doing extremely well over the last couple of years. I mean, the one year growth on this ETF has been 45%, right? That's extraordinary. Which is extraordinary, right? Um, you know, partly due to the four sectors that we had, which are obviously ideal for COVID, but obviously they've recovered faster than us. You know, I'm not saying they're not having second waves, but it's certainly something to think about. That China should be something in your portfolio. And, you know, I'm not saying put all, your, all of your portfolio into China, but it's something that you should absolutely consider. <music>